Welcome to EFIT 30. My name is PJ Welts. I am from Stretch Yoga, and today we're going to do a really nice beginner-friendly sequence, um, really focusing on the hips, the hamstrings, and the calves. So this one's a really good one for runners and for cyclists. Today we're going to need a strap. So if you don't have a strap, just a belt or a scarf, um, something that you can hook around your leg. We're going to come down onto our backs, and we're going to start stretching. So just gently rolling your weight down here. And just making sure your spine is nice and long, nice and straight along the mat. And just allow the feet to come out, falling to each side. We'll take our palms, facing up just slightly away from our sides. Slight tuck under of the shoulders. Chin comes in towards the chest. And if you haven't already, just closing down your eyes here for a moment. Before we start, we'll just start to connect in with our bodies, connect in with our breath. So just start to observe your breath here. Start to become aware of the natural pace and depth of your breath. See if you can really start to observe the inhalations and exhalations, where they sit in the chest. Noticing the gentle sensation of air brushing in and out through the nostrils. And we're just going to take our left hand onto our stomach and our right hand onto our chest. And just start to feel which areas the breath comes into. And then on your next inhalation, see if you can really take the breath deep down into the lungs. So filling up from the base of the lungs, up through the chest, all the way to the collarbones. And as you exhale, just exhaling back down the other way. So from the collarbones, through the chest, all the way to the base of the lungs. And we just want to take a couple of rounds just like this. So nice, deep inhale, feeling your left hand rise and then your right hand. And equal exhale, right hand falls and then the left hand falls. And just keeping the breath flowing just like this. Nice deep inhales and exhales. We'll take a nice big inhale to take both knees up into the chest. Give yourself a loving big hug. And just start by taking a gentle rock from side to side here. So we're just opening up through the lower back. And it might feel nice to do some circles with the knees one way. And then take some circles back the other way. And then just extending your right leg long on the mat. We're going to squeeze our left leg all the way in, so nice and close towards the chest. And then as you exhale, see if you can draw your left knee in towards your left armpit. So starting to just gently open up through the hips and just take a couple of nice deep breaths here. And then very gently start to take your left foot up towards the ceiling. We'll see if we can grab a hold of the inside of our arch, if that's not available, just grabbing on to your ankle and just coming into a nice half happy baby. So drawing that left knee down towards the ground. Take a few deep breaths here. So still breathing into the base of the lungs. And then gently releasing that left leg all the way back out. And we'll take the same on the other side. So nice big inhale, right knee comes up in towards the chest. Give it a good squeeze. And then drawing your right knee in towards your right armpit. So just gently starting to open up, warm up through the hips. Nice deep breaths. And then gently taking that right foot up towards the ceiling again, just grabbing a hold wherever feels comfortable. I'm going to take that right knee out towards the side, draw it down towards the mat. Nice little half happy baby again. Nice deep breaths. And again, just gently releasing out. And then from here, we're just going to take both knees up, feet flat on the floor. And we'll take a really nice stretch through the back of the hip. So this time we'll start with our right hip first. We'll draw our left knee in towards our chest. 
and we're just going to rest our leg across our knee. So just making sure that our ankle joint is free. If it's resting on the thigh, just slide it across a little. We're going to dorsiflex the toes of our left foot, so toes up towards the knee. See if you can take your calf nice and parallel to the front of your mat. If this feels quite intense already, feel free just to hold it here, breathing into it. If you'd like to take this one a little bit further, we'll start to draw our right knee up in towards our chest. So maybe grabbing a hold behind the thigh, maybe the front of the shin, and then just drawing in until you feel that really nice opening. And again, we'll just take a few nice deep breaths here. And then gently releasing that right leg out. We're going to keep the left leg up and just do a little bit of mobility work before we move on to the other side. So either extending the right leg long or if you have any pain through your lower back, just take a little bend through that knee. We're going to take our left leg to a right angle here. So knee and ankle make that right angle. Keep the toes nice and flexed, just relaxing the hands down by the side. And then from here, we're going to take some nice big circles. So inhaling to draw the leg out towards the side, all the way up, back across the body and back through the center. And just keep it flowing with the breath. So nice deep inhales and exhales. And just really making sure that this movement's coming from the hip and not from the knee. And once you've done three or four just like this, I'm just gonna take it back around the other way. So nice deep breath. Just really exploring that range of motion through the hip joint. Keep those toes flexed so the leg is nice and active. One last nice big circle. Good, and then just very gently releasing that left leg down. And this time we're going to take a bend through the left knee and right leg comes across. So again, just making sure that ankle joint is nice and free. Flexing through the toes, we're protecting our knee joint. See if you can take your calf nice and parallel to the front of your mat. Hips stay nice and grounded. And then option one, staying here. Option two, start to draw the left leg in towards the body. Grab a hold back of the thigh or the front of the calf. And again, just nice deep breaths. Really sending the breath into those areas that are opening. And then very gently, just releasing that left leg all the way out. Again, make that nice right angle between your knee and your ankle. Toes are flexed. And same again, nice deep breaths. We'll take a few nice big circles one way. Remember, movement comes from the hip, not from the knee. And then just taking it back around the other way. So nice and gently, nice and slowly. There's no rush at all here. And then gently releasing the right leg out. And we'll take one final pose on our mats here. Just grabbing hold of your strap, we're going to take a couple of nice calf and hamstring stretches. So just unraveling your strap all the way out. This time we'll start with our right leg first. So just taking your foot up towards the ceiling and we just want to take the strap just underneath the ball of the foot and slowly extend up. So just like before, we're taking that dorsiflexion through the toes. And again, if there's any pain through that lower back, feel free to take a little bit of a bend through this left leg. Now with the strap, we just want to pull the leg up so far as we could let go and it's going to stay exactly where it is. I'm just going to start by taking a couple of nice deep breaths here. So really kicking the foot up into the strap. You should feel a nice stretch through the back of the legs here. So breathing into it. I'm just going to take both the straps into the right hand. We'll take a nice big inhale at the top. We're going to rest the left hand on the left hip. And as you exhale, just start to take that right leg over across to the right. 
A nice deep even breaths here. Really grounding down through that left hip. And it doesn't matter how far this leg gets down, doesn't need to make it all the way to the ground, just as long as you're feeling a really nice opening here. And then nice big inhale, taking that left leg up through the center. We're gonna swap the hands over. So grabbing a hold with our left hand this time. Inhaling at the top and as you exhale, just taking the leg over to the left side. You should feel a really nice stretch through the piriformis here. Nice, deep, even breaths. And then a nice big inhale again, taking that leg up through the center. We'll unhook the strap, releasing the right leg all the way down. I'm gonna take the same on the other side. So again, just hooking that strap underneath the ball of the foot, taking it up towards the ceiling. Remember, you should be able to let go of the strap and it should stay where it is. So we're just using the strap as a guide. Dorsiflexing the toes. I'll take a couple of nice deep breaths here. And then again, we'll take both the straps into the left hand. Right hand comes onto the right hip. We want to keep this one nice and firmly grounded. Take a nice big inhale at the top. And then as you exhale, start to gently take that strap and that foot over to the left. Grounding down through the right hip, nice deep breath. And then again, nice big inhale to draw up through the center. We'll swap the hands over, taking it over to the right. You should feel that nice stretch through the piriformis, so down through the center of the hip, and that stretch coming down into the hamstring, into the calf again. And we're just breathing into it. And then nice big inhale all the way back through the center. We'll just release the strap out. We'll take our knees up into our chest one more time. This time just taking your hands underneath your knees. And we'll take a nice big rock all the way up to sitting. And then from here, we're just going to take the soles of the feet together. We're going to make our way into our Baddha Konasana, or our butterfly pose or cobbler's pose. With this one, we can really control where the stretch sits. So the closer our feet in toward, uh, in towards our body, the more we're going to feel this through the groin. The further we take our feet away, so the wider the diamond shape, the more we're going to feel this through the hamstrings as well. So just picking which area feels tighter for you. Interlace your fingers. We're going to take our hands underneath our feet here. And we want to come into this one with a really nice long spine. So lifting the chest up. Nice big inhale. Long through the crown of the head. And then as you exhale, we're going to start to gently hinge from the hips. So very gently releasing down. So just coming to that point where you start to feel that opening. If you're quite open through the hips, you might like to just take the hands underneath, maybe resting the head nice and gently down. It doesn't matter where you get to. If you're up, maybe just taking the elbows onto the calves and just again sending that breath down into those areas that are opening, sending them a little bit of prana, a little bit of love. We'll take three more nice deep breaths here. You might find you can come just a little bit deeper. And then using your breath, slowly start to inhale your way up here. Or give those knees a little bit of a flap up and down. And we'll take one leg in front of the other. So right leg comes in front of left first. And this time stretching through the back of the hip. So option one, if you're a little bit tighter, just leave this right leg on the floor. 
Option two, if you are a little bit more open, we can start to take our right foot on top of our left knee. Now, if you're taking this foot up, we want to make sure the ankle is nice and straight. Again, we're dorsiflexing through the toes, so always protecting that knee joint. And see if you can really make a nice square shape with the knees. So this one's called our square pose or our fire log pose. So if this already feels quite intense, just staying where you are, breathing into it. Or we can start to take this one a little bit further. So gently walking the hands out in front. Take a nice big inhale to find length. And as you exhale, very gently start to fold. And you might like to just relax the head down, maybe coming onto the forearms, just finding something that feels comfortable for you. If the foot up feels too intense, feel free to just take it out in front and just fold with the foot on the ground. And just like we have been throughout the class, coming into that nice deep breath, so breathing down into the base of the lungs, filling up through the chest to the collarbones, and gently exhaling back down the other way. And again, just using the breath, we'll inhale to very gently make our way up. And then just in between, we're just going to take both feet out in front and take a little bit of a windscreen wipe from side to side. So just releasing out through that hip. And then same on the other side. So this time I'm going to take the left leg out in front. So remember option one, left leg on the ground, or option two, we'll take the foot onto the knee, making sure that that ankle joint is nice and free. See if you can find that nice square shape. Dorsiflex the toes, either staying exactly where you are or using the breath to come into this a little bit deeper. Nice big inhale. And exhale, gently folding forward. Really using the breath, sending it into those areas that are opening, allowing them to release a little further. We'll take one more nice deep breath here. And then very gently walking those hands back up once more. Same again, just take both feet out in front. We'll take a little bit of a windscreen wipe. Just releasing out any tightness here. And then just crossing the ankles over, we'll take a nice Big roll forward. And we're just going to make our way into our tabletop position in the center of our mats. We won't stay here for too long, so just making sure the fingers are really nice and spread, knuckles planning down. We're going to transition through our downward facing dog. So taking a moment just to tuck the toes. Find that length through your spine. So really reaching long with the arms, shoulders down the back, ears in line with the bicep. We'll take a nice big inhalation here, gently lifting the sitting bones up towards the ceiling. And then just take this opportunity to walk the feet up and down. So a little bit more of a stretch through the back of those legs. And then just finding that stillness, so heels come down towards the mat, stomach nice and close to the thighs, nice deep breaths here. And then taking your gaze in between your hands. I'm going to take a nice big inhale, drawing our left knee in through the center. So squeeze it in really nice and tight here. And then very gently, see if you can place it in between those hands. We'll start to gently drop the right knee down. We'll untuck the toes, squaring off the hips. Take a nice big inhale, interlace the fingers, and just coming into a nice lunge. So we want to make sure here our knee is directly above our ankle. If it's not, just wiggle it out a little bit further. And see if you can really sink down into the hips. We'll take a couple of nice deep breaths here. And so option one, just staying where you are, breathing into it. 
Option two, if you'd like to take a little bit of a heart opener, we'll release our hands behind our back, interlace our fingers, take a nice big inhale, opening through the chest, squeeze the shoulders together, gaze forward. Good, and then just very gently releasing those hands back down. And then from here, we're just gonna take our left hand to the inside of our left foot. So maybe just wiggling that foot out a little bit further. We're making our way into our lizard pose. So a really nice deep hip stretch. Option one, just staying on the hands here. Or if you're a little bit more open, maybe trying option two. So releasing down onto the forearms. If that still doesn't feel like it's quite enough, you might like to take your left hand to the outside of your left foot, and then maybe have a go of just releasing your head onto the mat. And we'll take a few nice deep breaths here. And then from wherever you are, We'll very gently make our way back up, spread the fingers nice and wide. We're gonna tuck the toes of our right foot and then take a nice big step back into our downward facing dog. And again, just walking it out, pulse the heels up and down. And we'll do the same on the other side. So gaze comes in between the hands, nice big inhale, drawing the right leg in through the center, give it a little squeeze. See if you can lightly take it up to the front, if not just guide it a little bit further. We'll drop the left leg, untuck the left toes, square the hips to the front, interlace the fingers, take them onto the knee again, make sure you've got that nice line, maybe wiggling that front foot further forward. Sinking down into the hips, nice deep breaths here. And option to take that nice heart opener. Hands come behind the back, interlace the fingers, squeeze the palms together, press the chest forward. And we'll gently release the hands back down once again. Same as on the other side, just taking the hands to the inside of the right foot, maybe wiggle the right, right foot out a little bit further. Option one, staying up nice and tall. Option two, releasing onto the forearms. Or option three, taking that head all the way down onto the mat. Nice deep breath. Nice big inhale, very gently making your way back up. We'll tuck the toes of the left foot, nice big step back, downward facing dog one more time, taking a walk out with those feet, really get those hips into it. And then as gently as possible, we're just gonna release the knees onto the ground. We're gonna take them really nice and wide, just touching your big toes together. And as you exhale, sinking all the way back into your child's pose, relax the head, take a few nice deep breaths here. And then when you're feeling ready, we'll just start to very gently make our way back up. And if you'd like to, now's the time where you get to just lie down and just really absorb all the benefits of your practice. So coming into Shavasana for as long as you'd like. Just allow your body to completely relax. Coming into a nice gentle breath so we can allow that deep breath just to completely melt away. And when you're feeling ready, just making your way back into your day, hopefully feeling a little bit looser, a little bit more open. So thank you so much for joining me today. Again, my name is PJ Wells. I'm from Stretch Yoga. And thank you for watching EFIT 30.